Hey everybody, it's Christine getting ready to start our next boss workout, shelter in place. As always, we want to go over a couple different things with you. We want to make sure that you're wearing good supportive sneakers, good arch support, and good cushioning for your foot type. Whether you're a person who pronates, supinates, or has a neutral foot, you want to make sure that your sneakers, shoes are feeling comfortable on your feet. Otherwise, you can have problems going all the way up the chain, creating issues at your ankles, knees, hip, back, all the way up. Let's avoid that. Next, we want to make sure that we are properly nourished and have had enough liquids, hydration, to get you through the workout and still feel good at the end. You don't want to bonk, all right? Meaning that you'll feel really badly at the end if you don't have enough of these supplies. Your body knows what it needs. Make sure you feel it, okay? That's what makes it work. With every workout, we do a five to eight minute warm up. That can be marching, that can be riding your indoor bike, that can be dancing, it can be anything that you enjoy doing. I will provide you with that, all right? Two songs, we will get the body warmed up from head to toe all the way down. Then we will end with a stretch segment, all right? The stretch segment is 30 to 60 second holds. Two to three repetitions per side is optimal. You have the ability to pause, hold, go back, do it again, or I have additional stretch videos that you can also do a full body stretch. For today's class, throughout the main set, we will be doing a very um, couple different types of challenges. We will be using plates or discs, we will be using hand weights, and we will be using the ball today. So we're going to be doing a multitude of things. For the hand weights, I tend to use a lighter hand weight. I do higher repetition, better for toning purposes. I do have two different size weights, just in case I feel like varying them up. If you want to develop a stronger, bigger muscle, you will need to use a heavier weight. Do not compromise technique and form to have that weight, okay? We'll make sure that whatever we're doing, we are not going to get hurt. I have a ball, small ball. I went to a dollar store, picked one up. All right, not that big, it's probably about six to eight inches. We'll also be using paper plates and or Dyna disc. Use what you got. Ready? We're gonna be starting on that high knee march. Let's get going, we're gonna do that warm up. Bring it wide.
cross in front, back foot left. Grass. 
Here we go. Summer in New England. It might be uh, gray out there, I'm not gonna lie. Not a lot of sunshine lately here. But I don't have to water my plants. That's not so shabby. One more. The bugs will love me here. I must have a certain blood type. Ready? Up, down. Front raise, up, down. Both, two, up, down. Front raise, doing your delts. one. Grab a plate. Only one. We're going to be grabbing the next plate next time on the next song. So we'll have two for the next song. Arms are out. Make a question mark with your foot. Bring it down. Back. Bring it down. We're going to be using 
the plates on our hands. All right. What you got in there, you can do them on your knees or up on your toes. I'll show both ways. Squeeze the belly and the bottom. You're in plank position. If you feel like they're up or down on the ground, it's up to you. Or all the way up in push up position, holding plank. We're going to be going up, 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 up. For 10, then out. on your bum, feet on the plates.
plates, guys. We are going to be in plank position on our forearms, and we're going to be tapping out, out, both out, up, up, both in and out. All right? So we're working our core. Working on this. Feet are on your plates. Make sure you 
both. One, two, three, four, five, five more. Two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Sit it back. All the way on your heels. Stretching out that low back. Relax it down. Sitting your glutes toward your feet. Arms extended in front of you. Head to the floor if you can. Walk your hands to one side and hold. stretching strap you can use a towel and you're just going to gently hold stretching the front of the thigh all the way down toward the the knee and up toward your hip knees are together seconds, two to three repetitions per side. All right, you can pause, you can go back to it. Don't arch through your back on this one. We're trying to keep our hips flat into the mat. Knees are together. That way you're getting all four quad heads, all right? One side might be easier than another. We're not. Uh, release. You're going to roll to your side, sit on up. Legs are going to go out into a V. One leg out, the other leg out. Shake them out. Your back is tall. You're not curling in or up sitting up nice and tall. Toes and knees are facing the ceiling. Gently bringing our hands toward your floor. Don't bounce. We're not here to bounce. We're not here to tear any muscles. All right, it's gentle. Stretching out your adductor, inner and outer thigh. Slowly bringing it up, reaching toward the toe, and hold. flexibility, okay? It's your class, not mine. I'm just here to help.
slowly bring it up into the middle. Feet come together, soft knees, shake them out. Looking straight ahead, reaching toward your toes. Again, you can hold your thighs, by your knees, calves, ankles, toes, wherever you have the flexibility. And again, use the tools you've got. If you need a towel to hold, keep your back up straighter, no problem, that's what you do. We're not here to curve through our spine, that's not the stretch. Your hamstring goes from the crest of your hip to just below your knee. Make sure you're stretching properly or you're not gonna get the benefit of it. Bring it all the way up tall, cross one leg over, in toward the center of your chest, stretching out your piriformis muscle that's deepened through your glute. We are not doing a spinal twist, that's rotating. We're up nice and straight in the middle. Glute is on the floor and hold. that sciatic issue. If you have any back pain, you want to make sure you're stretching that area out really well. Again, two to three repetitions, 30 to 60 seconds. If you find that you're tight tomorrow, do the stretches again. That's what's going to help you flush out all that lactic acid and get things moving and to decrease your soreness. Nobody likes being sore after a workout, I assure you. Gonna go ahead and uncross, gonna come all the way up on one knee. Stretching out that hip flexor. One leg forward. Jump jet over that knee, nice and tall. Stretching in through your hip. You should feel a little bit maybe in the hip, the back. Up tall through that spine. There are various other workouts as well. I also have a variety of challenges. So if you need a little more, well, a little more butt kicking, we got it. There's lots of different challenges. We got the Cupid Shuffle, we got the Wobble, we have Casper, we have, uh, oh my goodness, we have so many. We got Seven Rings, we got Dance Monkey. A lot of these I created on my own. Go ahead and check them out. You want more of a workout? Add them on, tack it on at the end. Do a warm up and start there, it's up to you. There are a variety of warm ups there as well. And um, again, there's dynamic warm ups, basic warm-ups, and then there's also full body stretch. Utilize what you guys got. Don't reinvent the wheel, we already did that. Bring it all the way on up. One leg back, nice straight lines. Check your foot position, arm across and hold. like the sun's coming out in New England. Give us a little sunshine in this summer. We only get a couple of months of this stuff. And swap it on over. Other leg back. Nice straight line. And hold. You breathe in. You made it. Bring it all the way on up. Arm overhead, squeeze that belly and bum. Gentle tilt, We're stretching out through the triceps, through your side quadratus lumborum. Nice straight lines. Back into middle, arm back, over, squeeze the belly and the bum. Gentle side tilt. You get a lot more arms than you may have thought. Make sure you're stretched. Make sure you take care of yourself. Epsom salt baths are phenomenal if you're sore. Just saying. Plus they just feel good. The Epsom salt actually draws out the toxins, so it really does help. I'm not making that up. Pull up overhead. Bring it down by your hips. Press back. Again, squeeze that belly and bum. Your back is flat. Flex the wrist, head tilt. Center, other side. You did 
it. You made it. Not so bad. Bring it back up into the middle. I've had some turkeys run around the back of my yard. I got this big three-paned window, big window in the um, the area that I'm in. And so I get to see all the all these turkeys out there eating some grub. <laughs> Give yourself a pat on the back. You made it through another class. Peace, love, and light to you all. Stay safe. Do the right things. Be a good human. In a world where you can be anything, just be kind. Take care. Till next time.